For example, if, you had a, if I had a stranger walk in here um, and then let them walk out again and said to you, actually, that was a Nobel Prize winner or that was a Prime Minister, by the way, how tall do you think he is? You'd probably all say, well, he's probably about six foot five, something like that. If I had a different audience, the same person came in, and then I said to them, oh, yeah, uh, that's, a, um, that's a poor chap who's uh, living in a hostel around the corner. By the way, how tall do you think he is? Oh, about five foot five and so on. There's a big link between how important we think people are and how tall they think they are. Great. So I've done experiments with Richard Wiseman, the University of Hertfordshire, where we ask people, how tall do you think politicians are? And what's hilarious is we tend to think politicians are shorter than they really are. <laughs> and if you meet John Major, John Major's quite a big guy, but if you saw him on Spitting Image, you'd probably think he's about that tall. <laughs> Uh, in a, and it works the other way around as well. If you think about superstars like Madonna or Tom Cruise, you probably think they're pretty tall. But actually, they're pretty short, you know. And that, again, is because you link importance with height. So if you look at high status of important people throughout society, they could be bishops, they could be kings, they could be wizards and warlocks and witches, they love tall hats. Because it's sending out a really important signal. It's saying, I am an important person. And in fact, you can see this in ancient cultures. There have been some amazing real wizard hats found that date back 3,000 years, discovered in Germany and Switzerland, made of beaten gold. Now, this is serious. You know, you're saying, I'm a really important person. Imagine having that on your head. And what's fascinating about these is that there's a lot of symbols here. These are astronomical symbols to do with the cycles of the moon. And there's a very ancient link between power and understanding of astronomy. If you were in ancient Egypt and you could predict when the Nile would, in, would, would, would flood the local area and so on, that was crucial for agriculture. That was crucial for people living. You were a very important person if you could foretell that. Similarly, if you could foretell something like an eclipse when the moon passed in front of the sun and it got a bit darker, people were very spooked out by that indeed. So you can imagine, if you are a priest king in an ancient society in Switzerland or Germany, you've got one of these amazing hats, <coughs> it's got lots of astronomical signals, uh, symbols on it, then you are a really important person that's got to be respected and revered. And in fact, there's another way that Mughal science can give us the wizarding world, and that's the sorting hat. Now, that seems crazy and impossible, but in fact there's lots of really impressive brain scanning technology out there, which is beginning to read what people think. And I've only got one of them here. These are little sensors up here in a cap, and each sensor looks like this, and it's a thing called a squid, superconducting quantum interference device. You don't have to worry about that. All you've got to know is that it detects, it's probably the most sensitive detector we've got on the planet, it detects tiny magnetic fields. So when your brain's at work, it generates magnetic fields. And you can see changes rippling across the brain as you sort of think of something. If someone said to you, think of a number and then say it, you can see language areas of the brain go into action. And then a tiny bit later, you can see motor areas of the brain go into action. They control your mouth moving and so on. And we're just reaching the point now where using other scanners, you can say to someone, like, think of a scene. You can pop their head in a brain scanner, and you can say, I think <coughs> you're looking at countryside. And you can often get it right now, particularly if you train the brain scan. If you look, make people look at, say, 100 images, and then you say, right, <coughs> conjure up one of those images in your mind, you can use the brain scanner to read the mind. So something like the sorting hat is out there uh, at work in the muggle world right now. What about this character?